alignment in crow pose, kakasana, and crane pose, bakasana. Sometimes they're both referred to as bakasana, but I'm going to show you the difference today. So before we do that, let's begin some mindful breathing. Begin ujjayi breath in and out through the nose. As I play the first chord, inhale. And as I play the second chord, exhale. Close your eyes, observe your breath. squat position, malasana. I would think like a frog on a lily pad. Pause for a moment, take a deep breath in, and exhale, sigh. Bring your hands to the earth, come high onto your toes. We're going to begin with Kakasana, crow pose. So in Kakasana, the triceps are connected to the inner thigh, and we want to squeeze really strong, like magnet strong tricep, that's the outer part of the arm, to the inner thigh. Come high onto your toes, draw in through your core. Make sure that your wrists are right below the shoulders. Often people bring their hands more narrow. You want the wrists right below the shoulders. That'll give you the support you need through the chest. Lean forward, come high onto your toes, energetically press the elbows apart, that'll give you the support more through the chest. Lean forward, lean, 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 maybe pick up one foot, maybe the other, maybe you can bring your feet together. Gaze forward about 20 inches from your hands, looking at the earth. A great idea is to have a block for a crash pad or a pillow. So let's do that one more time. Wrists align right below the shoulders. Claw your fingertips. Fingers are spread like the rays of the sun. Press the triceps, outer arms, into the inner thighs. Come high onto your toes. Lean forward. Look forward towards the earth, about 20 inches from your hands. Maybe pick up one foot, the other. And there you go, Kakasana, crow pose. Now, Bakasana, crane pose. So in crane pose, we have our triceps on more on the, right directly on the knee and closer to the armpit. So here's the difference. We're going to be a little higher up, our butt a little higher. Triceps right on the knees, knees higher on to, near to the armpits, leaning forward. Claw your fingertips. One foot lifts, maybe the other. Gaze is forward. And there you go, Bakasana, crane pose. Come back, take a moment. We'll do one more. Breathe in through the nose. And exhale, sigh. Ah. All right, so so important when we do balance poses is to find a gaze, a drishti. Feel that focus of concentration 
and also to use our breath because it's scary when we're doing balance poses. So hands to the earth, claw your fingertips. I'm going to come back to Kakasana Crow Pose. Triceps to inner thighs, squeeze, lean forward. Feel the broadening through the chest as you energetically press the elbows apart. High onto the tippy toes. Gaze is forward towards the earth. Make sure you're not looking down because that will cause you to maybe injure, maybe your nose. <laughs> and then lean forward. And one foot lifts off. And the other. For advanced yogis, maybe you can jump it back, chaturanga. And then find your cobra or up dog. And exhale back. Down dog. There you have it. Crow pose, kakasana, and crane pose, bakasana. Namaste.